Everyone is freaking out about Jake. I think he was the center of whatever was going on. There. Something went inside of you. I don't know, I can't explain it. But you don't remember doing that at all? No. I don't know how to explain that no, you, you cannot explain that. You're down into a, another haunted hotel soon, right? <laughs> what? We got 300,000 likes. Oh, yeah, no, we, we have to didn't. Go we got 300,000 no, likes. No, we didn't. Oh, oh my god, god, you can see it! Oh, I just got chills. That's weird. What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today, we're not doing a Sam and Colby 2.0 video, but we're gonna be reacting to the Biltmore Hotel series. Now last week we had a poll on here and over 300,000 of you guys wanted to see this, so that's why it's in the middle of the week instead of like a regular Sam and Colby 2.0 Sunday video. So I hope you guys enjoy this and leave a like right now if you want us to do more videos like this in the future. Again, we will be posting on Sunday. This is just a filler video in the middle of the week. Usually we have always thought to just talk about the scary moments on videos on our channel memberships, our podcasts, which if you guys haven't subscribed, Go check it out. That's like where we have like longer form explanation stuff. So many people pointed out crazy spots in these videos that we had to give our two cents on it as well. But then we're gonna go to Corey and Jake and do a personal interview with each of them and get their thoughts. So that'll come later in the video, but let's get to the reaction. Starting at the very beginning of night two at the Biltmore Hotel. I'm scared. Do we come out this way? Dude. Wait, that's not how we entered, is it? It's on the 10th and 11th floor, what? look! Oh wait a second. Wait, 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 dude. Wait, think about that for a second. The, the most haunted. The two most haunted places are the 11th and 10th floor, and this has both? The only room in the entire hotel that has both? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? This gave me chills when we were saying that. I know, because guys, like, have you ever been in a hotel room that was like two floors? Like, never. I've never ever seen that before. So we were really just picturing it was gonna be like a kind of bigger room on the 11th floor and it had that spiral staircase and it was the both of the haunted floors. It was like, oh Yeah, God. in all of our research, everyone was saying 10th and 11th floor, most haunted floors. This one had both and the only one. Like, what are the odds? We knew at that moment Oh God, this is gonna be a crazy night. <laughs> right, because for you guys, it was just, you know, an hour. But for us, it was probably like, what, nine or 10 o'clock when yeah. that happened, so we were just like, oh no, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> let's just do, let's just do a seance for the oh, elevator. Oh, close. <laughs> Slam it. Push it. Push it, push it real good. No, no, don't, don't, Jake, Jake, Jake. God, Jesus. <laughs> What? Why is that? Jake was crazy in this video. Jake, Jake, Jake was on crack or something. I think, I think Jake's a little too much. And then slam. Close. This piano lesson so <laughs> Boom. Whoa. So he, <laughs> he closes the elevator door, boom, and then he slams that one, boom. Remember that, because that's very important later. So many people were saying, why is Jake so crazy? Why is he all over the place? He's the guy slamming all these different things that make noises later in the video. Like, everyone is freaking out about Jake. I think he was the center of whatever was going on that night. Oh, 100%, and that's, like, everybody can see that too. Dude, he keeps getting calls. And they don't say anything and they ran away hanging But out. what did that- oh, did you hear that? that? Yeah, what- what was that? <coughs> so I just saw this random girl? Wow. I'm just saying, Black Dahlia was last seen on the phone. Dude! Yes! Corey! One thing that was big about last video here, you were in a car crash, right? Yeah. That car crash was three days after- You this. were the one that picked up the phone. We stayed in this hotel and got a phone call. You picked it up, you put it down, you went to a, get a car crash. Do you think there's some correlation with that? Because yeah. la like he just said, Black Dolly was last seen before her death. You don't on see the phone. anyone else getting random calls, bro. Yeah, you're the only one getting calls right now. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? We're not answering it. Why? What are the odds? Uh, no, just put on mute again. No, bro, I'm not answering it. Why? Because I don't. This is freaking me out, to be honest. 
Dude. The worst part about that was after that scene, that happened so much more during the night that we just didn't even like capture, but didn't really want to say like the same thing over and over and over again. If you guys remember from the video, Black Dahlia, the person that haunts this hotel and is like the biggest murderer in all of history, basically, she was last seen on the phone. And then what are the odds that the entire week after we visit Biltmore Hotel, Corey just gets calls on calls on calls. And this was at mm -hmm. what, midnight? Yeah. Why would anyone be calling him at that hour? And I don't know if you guys heard this, because it was kind of a minor deal, but Corey got in a freaking car accident. Yeah. The week after the first Biltmore. What are the odds of that, too? It, I don't know. All this stuff ties in, and it's crazy. This is like employee things are just awkward. But we're going to get kicked out if somebody catches up. This is, this is a dead end. Dude, this is the Regency room right there. That was on the other side of the elevator. Or escalator. I saw what was that? What was that? What was that? I I think that's scarier than anything else that happened the entire time. I'm starting to smell like like, a, <laughs> like the ghosts are like again. A, like a foul. The lights were off. The lights were off. What a coincidence. No, okay, we did debunk this. It was like exactly midnight. We guessed that all the lights down there were like on like a time system where at midnight they just turn off. The fact that it happened while we were right there. What are the odds? We left that room for, for two what? seconds? 45 seconds yeah. max, and it turns off at that exact instance. That right. freaked us all out. What if we were in that room while it turned off? They would have cried. Yeah, dude, would've that would have been insane. What the f was that? Open. Was that open? Before? Wait, wait, did we leave it open or no? And the lights, wait, the lights too. I thought it was closed. Was remember, we we would have closed it, right? Ball, I don't know. I don't remember. We didn't check the footage. I'm, I'm not sure. No, no, remember we had to slam it closed. What, what did it sound like? It, it literally like sounded. No, it sounded like like this. Uh, so what happened right there? is obviously we just went to explore the hotel. We came back, we were just chilling. We hear a big bang from beneath us. We thought it was the elevator, but if you remember earlier, we just showed a clip. The last time we saw that door, Jake had slammed it shut. Yeah. We were like so confused when we got down there because we couldn't remember. Did we go and open it? Why would we go and open it again? And the weirdest part was we all stayed upstairs the entire time. We just ate, ate McDonald's. Maybe a maid would have came in there. Like who knows? And we're not saying this is like 100% a paranormal thing that happened, but it's definitely something that's weird. And then later in that scene, it gets even weirder. Mm. Think about it, realistically. I don't know, dude. Yeah. I don't know either. What was that? What was that? Did you wait? Wait, 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 wait. Piano. Piano, piano, go, 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 go. A lot of people couldn't hear this and it made me mad because I can hear it every single time this plays. When you guys watch our videos, you have to wear headphones to really get like the full experience, but like it was clearly two like notes going like bing, bing. Whenever I watch that back, I'm like, that is so clear. Yeah. That is 100% a piano, yeah. which freaks me out. A lot of people were kind of confused because like they saw Corey close that door and then be like, what was that? He was reacting to what he heard upstairs, not the fact that he closed that door. So it wasn't like he was trying to close it and then be like, oh, I made that noise, but what was that for like camera or anything? It was Listen about actually one upstairs. second after he closed the door. That's when the sound was. Hello? I'm not going first. Hello? But so much happens in the scene. Because if you go back, look. The piano is open. All the way open. open. All the way open. Dude, what, what was that? Last no, time we was, checked, was, no one had played the piano, piano and Jake had closed it. Mm -hmm. Is this is this Same on? with the elevator. Yo, is somebody pranking us right now? What the f that that that's insane. I was I was convinced like a, there was actually somebody like in there. Like I 100% yeah, thought there was like a maid or something that heard us talking about scary Hello? stories that was actually just what's in here. And then here too, so right? The oh, in, the in the window, in the window. So everyone is talking about how there's a bunch of shadows in the window. Guys, that's our reflection. Yeah. We got to be realistic on that one. But the fact that the door was open, lights were on, piano was open and playing Doesn't without us sense. around. I don't know how to explain that. No, you, at all. you cannot explain that. I just wanted to clarify what all was going on in that scene because we were so frantically running around. We were not explaining the things that were going on. No, we were just freaking out. <laughs> this is right before 
the scene that every single person is talking about that we did not catch editing. Check this out. Let's do it. So, this time, everyone close their eyes, focus, because this is it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right, so on the count of three, let's say, if you are here and want to talk to us, use our energy to, to make, make some us. sort of sound or sound. Why did we do this? <laughs> we, went, we went really hard. Because we're us. dumb. All right, close eyes. Three, two, one. If you were here, right, everybody watch Jake. Energy. Just look at Jake this entire time. Make a sound or sign. What is he doing right there? Why? Look. What? Raising his Why? hand. Why? Oh! What the f 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 and then everything goes to chaos. It was right before, like a millisecond before the candles blew. I did not realize that at all. We didn't even realize that editing. We were like, what is going on? When every single comment was like, look at Jake, look at Jake, look at Jake. Oh my God. I want to talk to him specifically about this because that makes no sense. It was like something entered him and then they like blew the candles. It was so weird. Anyway, let's go talk to Jake right now get his opinion on this because he closed the door he closed the piano the piano and the door opened again and something happened to him right before all the candles blew out this is hey jake it's like come in how are you doing big how are you <laughs> shorter than my chin <laughs> yes. i just got done watching and reacting to the biltmore hotel experience and i have some questions for you oh yeah Sam. First of all, we heard the noise downstairs while we were upstairs, and you had closed the elevator door. Do you remember that? I didn't remember it in the moment, mm -hmm. but when we watched it back, I was like, oh my god. I literally closed the door. I even like, yeah, I nudged it. it. I nudged it, and when we came back down, it was wide open. Wide open. I thought that was really weird. And then as we were investigating that, not too long after that, we heard a piano playing, and you had touched and closed that previously, too. And it was open. Yes. Did you hear it on the video? Yes. Like we or just did watch that headphones in. It's better with headphones, but um, yes, yeah, so you can you can blatantly. Hear no, that it. was weird because I remember I was rubbing my cheeks on the piano. Right. It was just weird. Like everything that we closed or opened, it was like the opposite. Uh -huh. No one else closed things and they were open afterwards. No, it was all you, and that's what all the commenters are saying too. I gotta tell you about something, dude. What? That I don't think you guys know yet that me and Corey noticed. Sorry about my phone. About whenever my head came up and like twitched. Or yes, I was gonna ask you about that. I didn't. I don't even remember doing that, but like, you know, well, I'm pretty sure it was just a twitch. You don't even remember doing that? I don't remember most things I do. I probably sneezed 20 minutes ago, I don't remember Yeah, but that. dude, that was the weirdest twitch I've ever seen. Like, you literally look like something came inside of you. What? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, it's something went inside of you. I don't know, I can't explain it. But you don't remember doing that at all? No, I don't remember. A lot of things I do. You guys don't know this yet. Someone Instagram DM'd Corey and said, look at Jake's eyes when he tilts his head up. For a split second, dude, I swear to God, my eyes are red. They turn red. Really? Swear to God. Is it during the seance or when did this happen? Yes, I come up and then my eyes turn glowing red. Whoa. In that moment, swear to God, watch it back. Me and Corey were <laughs> bricks when we saw that, dude. Everyone's asking like, okay, if everything's attacking you or some demon went inside you and your eyes turned red, like, how was this next, like, week? Are you okay, or do you feel, like, the same? I'd say the only difference is I've, I feel like I've had a lot of bad luck. Bad luck? Just randomly. Mm -hmm. I buy a hair dryer, I turn it on, it goes, <laughs> shoots hot plastic at me. Someone was parked in my parking spot. To, oh, this is, dude. yeah, I know. Does that usually happen, though? Uh, I literally laid the back of my head after I took a shower on my wall, and I got purple hair dye all over my wall. <laughs> Try to clean it off, scraped off the paint. Gee, that sounds horrible. All right. Yeah, my life is a fucking mess right now. Yeah. Okay. okay but you don't like think me. there's like a demon or anything inside of you, because like, let's be real, that's what everybody wants to know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Dang. How True. would I know? True. Guess we're just gonna have to keep going to scary haunted places. So his eyes are so black right there. They're normal. And then, boom, they start going red. Oh, they start going red. red. You can going see red. red. Whoa. And what? then black, and then they're black. Look, dude, you can't even see my eyes. It's completely glowed. Watch right. it go away. And then, oh, they're done. Oh.
Oh, I just got chills. That's weird. The only thing I can think of to debunk that is your hair color. Is that could it do anything with his hair color? It's not glowing any other time. That's a good point. Because he was in the same position like two minutes before. We just watched another clip. It wasn't like that. Oh man. So whether or not it was the glowing at that specific time, the specificness right before the candles is what's creepy. That is scary. Get to the bottom of this, boys. All right, let's go talk to Corey. So me and Jake were watching the Biltmore part two video a couple days ago, and it was the part right where, you know, like the candles blew. I don't know if Jake talked to you about this. You know, you know when he did his little flinch thing? Yeah, he doesn't remember that at all. Do you know what else happened during that? Look. His eyes turned his red. His eyes turned red. He just showed us that. Oh, he just yeah. showed you all that? He showed us like, like a very slowed down version of the same thing. That's creepy, dude. Why do his eyes turn red? No, that was insane. It's been just freaky, just day to day. Like even on our follow up video at Griffith this last week, you were still yeah. getting random calls all the time on your phone. And then not to mention the whole Biltmore the first time you got in a freaking car crash. Like how did after, that even happen? After I answered the phone, which is also something a lot of fans pointed out. Okay, me and Jake put this together too. You know how at Biltmore I answered the phone and then what a few days later, me and Devin got into that super bad crash. Yeah. Let's talk about how didn't Jake pick up the phone. Remember he kept like pranking us and he kept calling us in the room and he kept messing with the phone. And then a couple days later, he crashed his oh car. Oh my God. I didn't even think about that. Yes. That was off camera. He just got, Jake, Jake loves messing with us. So the entire time we're in the hotel, he keeps calling the room on the room phone. And we're like, Jake, quit messing with the phones. Three days later, he crashes his own car. Guys, we did not put that on camera, the, the calling back and forth, but he's right. He was messing with us the entire time. And again, off camera, he probably hasn't talked to us about this, but he ruined the entire front side of his <laughs> new car. Like two yeah, days after like that. Two weeks. First year Phone call, call, car crash. Car crash. His call, car crash. And he was being careful because it's his new car. Coincidence? I don't know. Do you like feel like any different because of that, or do you think like that was just at the Biltmore, like the demons and haunted and stuff? Oh, bro. I don't want to talk about it, bro. Why? Like, do you feel different? Bro, y'all giving me chills and stuff now that we're talking about this, bro. Why? What, what are you, what's been on your mind? If you talk about this stuff, it like, it makes it like present. Like it knows that you're talking about it. So it gives it like attention and what's it makes it? it like whatever, whatever's out there or it could be following us, bro. So you do feel a little different. Bro, I've been hearing noises here, bro. And Devin's getting mad. She's like, Corey, chill. And we'll just be sitting there. And I'll just hear like footsteps and then like a door shut in our in our room. In your new place? Yes. And I'm just like, is there someone out there? And I'll just go walking around and Devin's like, Corey, chill. There's nothing out there. And I'll come and sit back down, whatever. We'll be hanging out for a little bit. And then I'll hear like a door creak. And I'm just like, what? Dude, same with me. Like, Shut I, the as up. soon as I started living no. alone, I thought that was what it was. I thought I was being weird no. because I was living alone. But I've been hearing weird stuff way late at night, and I know I could be like other people like talking, but it's like from inside my living room. Can I be honest with you guys too? No, you can't. I swear oh, no, to God. No. I swear Holy, to God. You can't be honest. Shut the fuck up. I like. I'm not even saying say this something. just to like jump on the bandwagon, but like I was out on my balcony just chilling one time, and I saw a giant flash in my kitchen. It's like a bright flash. And I ran in there, and all the lights were off. So it was like a flash from nothing. Oh I couldn't explain God. it. It was like super late too, it was like 1 a.m. I was like, what could have happened? All right, so final question. I'm getting chills. Do you think something followed us? Yeah. Did you just hear that? The like tick tick. Yeah, <laughs> you right, right, right. right know what, we're, we're at a safe place right now. All the noises we hear aren't sketchy right now. Jake was being crazy. He was being disrespectful. He was slamming doors, slamming the piano in the most haunted room in all of the With Bill his Moore. cheeks. With his cheeks. With his cheeks. Which it's kinda hot. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I liked it. Yeah. Do you think because of all that disrespect and craziness and like his weird jolts, do you think he has something attached to him? Or do you think that's just Jake being stupid? Has Jake said anything? Like has he heard noises or anything? No. Uh, what did he say? He basically just said, I don't even remember any of that happening, honestly. <laughs> yeah, he like, said just... it's like completely like not really, he doesn't care about it. Yeah, maybe, maybe spirits don't attach to children. Oh, oh my no! god! You're down into a, another haunted hotel soon, right? <laughs> what? We got 300,000 likes. Oh, yeah, no, we, we didn't. Go we got 300,000 No, we likes. didn't. How long has it been up? Like a week. 300,000 people liked it in a week? <laughs> yeah. Shut up, bro. If people want to see this, oh god, somebody's coming. 
Bro, what are we gonna do, bro? We gotta go back, man. That was weird. Okay. Alright. Alright guys, so I think that concludes us reacting to the Biltmore. There was a lot of stuff that we didn't end up catching, but hopefully this answers your questions or maybe raises new questions. Again, we don't know if we're going to continue doing these explanation videos on our main channel, maybe just on our channel memberships. But if this does get 100,000 likes, then we do know that you guys enjoy these videos and we'll keep reacting to crazy things that happen. Also subscribe right now if you haven't because this weekend... Another Sam and Colby 2.0 video, and we're doing another Haunted Hotel video in about two weeks from now. Because so. you guys got the 300,000 likes. It's going to be crazy. Thank you again for that, and we'll see you guys next Sunday at 1.14 PST. How are you doing, big power? You're shorter than my chest.